Hey everyone, so by the title of the video, you clearly know that this is Honey's 10 month update. <laughs> Say hello. And as usual, I have a really long list of things to go over that have happened with her in the past month. Look, say hey. <laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> so yeah, let's just jump right into the video. So for starters, I'll just go on ahead and say the reason that she's not wearing like a headband bow is because she refuses to wear them, don't you? See, I don't want them. You want my phone, I know. So, <clears throat> she just started this maybe like a week or so ago where she just refuses to wear anything on her head. So, I went and bought the little just like clips and that's the only thing that she'll wear now. If I try to put a headband on her, whether it's a thick one or a like skinny one, what? She will pull it off and she gets really mad at me if I keep trying to put it on her. And another thing, a really big thing, is Honey can crawl. Tell him that I can crawl. <laughs> and that's probably um, what you're going to see in the video is me not being able to keep her still. No? Okay. <clears throat> so she started to crawl on February 9th and... Like four days before that, she had to go for her 10 month checkup, or I guess it's her nine month. But she, she's crawling over here. The, she wasn't crawling yet, so her pediatrician just told me, you know, we'll give it until her 12 month checkup, and if she's not crawling, we'll talk. And then she crawled four days later. So <clears throat> that is something new and exciting, but very sad for me. What are you doing? She goes everywhere now, she gets into everything now, and it's been a task keeping her out of things. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? Ah. Yep. <laughs> also, speaking of when she went to the doctor, she weighed 18 pounds, it's like 18.10 pounds, and she was 28 inches long. <clears throat> now they had told me that she probably would have weighed more, but her weight, ah. look, look but her weight dipped a little because she was sick um i mentioned that in her nine month update we had to do that one really late because she got sick and then i got sick and then her daddy got sick and it was just not fun huh and she goes for her one year appointment two days after her birthday and she's gonna get so many shots i don't want to go hey hey what are you doing? Yeah, look, we're gonna set this on the blanket because it's too loud. And something else that she's been trying to do, which she accomplished crawling, but she's been trying to pull herself up onto things like the couch or the coffee table, just really anything, even up on if some up on people if they're sitting in the floor playing with her. And when you hold her up in a standing position, now she will try to take steps. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be a lot harder trying to make these videos. Something not so fun that we've been dealing with is she's really been trying to fight her sleep. Um, but I think it really has everything to do with her teething because she's getting two new teeth beside her two front teeth, like one on each side. Those have just started to come in and I'm sure more are coming in, but I've been having to, okay, on some nights, not every night, cause I don't like to do it every night, but give her Tylenol for her teeth because she just wakes up like every five minutes crying if I don't do anything to help soothe her gums and her teeth aching. Yes, here you wanna hold my phone? And recently, she, well, she's going through a leap right now, and it could be because she's teething. She's wanted more physical contact with me, and if she sees me leave the room, or I go to put her down, she gets very upset. And it's pretty often. Um, it's like 
I can't be like three feet away from her <laughs> without her being really upset. So hopefully that's just a little phase we're going through because she's going through another developmental leap right now. So hopefully, yeah, mommy can get some space. Hmm? What do you think about space, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple new things that she's been doing, I guess they're not really new, but they're just changing and developing more. She's been talking a lot more. So I love to talk and talk and squeal and squeal and yell and cry and throw fit. <laughs> Don't you? You're not going to talk right now though, are you? Nope. And she's been wanting to just feed herself. She'll let me feed her with a spoon still, but she'd much rather feed herself. Um, so we've just been trying to give her more like actual foods instead of just baby pureed foods. We've just kind of been doing more of lead weighting rather than baby food and have so much baby food left. Um, <laughs> yes, so she's been eating like egg, scrambled eggs for breakfast or... Um, she was eating, well, she doesn't feed herself this, but she's been eating yogurt for breakfast and she likes it. And then I bought her like these little baby pastas, um, to like, to let her feed herself at dinner, but she surprisingly didn't really like them. So I don't know what we're going to try this week, huh? You're getting so big and you won't sit still. Another thing that... It's so cute that she's been doing. She really seriously loves bath time. Um, she really hated the bath like when she was first born and then it was like for three months. She would cry in the bath and then she got used to it, you know. But now that she can just sit up on a play mat and play and move around, she really likes the bathtub. Um, when I try to get her out, she is not happy at all are you tell him say i'm not happy and i'll literally sit in the bathroom with her yes <laughs> i'll literally sit in the bathroom with her and let her bathe until the water's almost cold yeah tell him and say i get mad because i want to stay in the bath and she tries to like run away from me like she'll try to like crawl away from me in the tub or she'll like sling her hands down in the water and she'll grunt yeah and then once i do get her out once i'm trying to like get her dressed and put lotion on her and stuff she cries and she is mad at me aren't you aren't you <laughs> yeah about her getting mad in the bath it's not just in the bath She's been getting a temper with other things like she wants to like get the tissues out of the tissue boxes and if I'm folding laundry and she gets a dryer sheet out of the floor and I take it away from her, oh my gosh. She's just so heartbroken and she's so mad. So there's just a couple things left that I want to go over. It's just things that she still really likes. Um, She still loves Winnie the Pooh, like loves Winnie the Pooh. That's all she watches anymore. Um, we try to do the shows and stuff like my friends Tigger and Pooh. She used to not like that, but I think now that she's getting a little older, she's more interested in it. She doesn't watch the Fairchester Hotel anymore that has Elmo on it, but that's just because they took it off of Netflix. So I'm probably going to like try to maybe find something else that has Elmo on it. I've tried to get her to watch Sesame Street, but she's not really interested in it. So... I'm not sure which she's so obsessed with Winnie the Pooh at this point that she won't really watch anything else. She will like she will watch True Tunes, but she'd much rather watch Winnie the Pooh or True in the Rainbow Kingdom. But in the car, she still likes to listen to True Tunes and we listen to Winnie the Pooh. And my nephew, her cousin Vincent, he likes this song by Blippi. It's called the Excavator Song. And she really likes it. It'll put her to sleep in the car. So I guess I'm kind of grateful for it. But it kind of drives me nuts. Because we listen to it on repeat. But that's okay. You know, whatever gets her to not cry. And sleep in the car. Is fine with me. Because <laughs> that's something too. She still will cry in the car. But not just the whole time. Like she used to when she was a baby. She just cries when she's tired. She refuses to nap in the car. And when she does... 
it's rare and it's a miracle and I'm just in complete shock. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. Um, we are a couple days late, but it's okay. Um, I guess she was ready for a nap, even though she hasn't been up that long, about an hour. So... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to end the video here. Maybe when she wakes up, I'll try to like do a close-up shot. But I'm going to end the video for now. So I will see you guys next time. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.